Hi Scorpio, welcome to the love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And um, if you do need a positive reading, all that information is going to be down below. Wow, there's someone who's coming in. But they have the magician right off the bat. Someone's manifesting here. Someone's going to make things happen. Someone's in like full blown manifestation mode. Could be you, could be them, okay? But yeah, for the Ace of Swords, you know, you have clarity coming in. There's a breakthrough. Something's gonna, there's something's gonna be successful. Something's moving forward, is what I'm getting. Moving forward with clarity. You could have manifested someone, or someone's manifesting you, okay? But this is someone with a lot of willingness and determination to move forward with you. They're coming in to talk. They're gonna play the air. This is someone who probably wanted to be single all this while, or someone who was single, who probably thought they could do anything, whatever they want. Someone who has the gift of the gap, yeah, very good looking, they always say the right things, the right words. It could be someone who they're dealing with who was non committal, okay? But I think this person's changing. They're coming in to make things happen with you. Tell me more. Wow. Seriously, dude. The higher thing. Someone definitely wants marriage with you. If you're in a relationship with this person, this person wants to move things to the high level of commitment, to the next level, okay? If you're dating, if um, whatever, right? But they're definitely wanting something traditional with you. Wow. Seriously. You're not in a relationship. You're getting into a relationship. They're going to offer you a relationship. Looks like someone who you wanted this for a very long time, okay? You could have walked away from this person. You could have stopped manifesting this person, okay? But yeah, looks like if you were did manifest... It's coming true. If you've walked away, this person's manifesting you back with their full power. They feel they have everything that they need to get you back. And they're going to make it work out, baby. And with the higher of here, they want commitment. They want something traditional. They feel this is a very spiritual connection, okay? Something that is meant to be. You've learned your lessons. They've learned their lessons. Tell me more. Tell me more. You could be dealing with someone who's juggling you, okay? Who was going back and forth with the decision, who was very indecisive. Could be someone who's juggling you with another person. It doesn't have to be, okay? But this is definitely someone who's not sure. I'm getting someone who's emotionally want who's emotionally very unavailable. Someone who had a hard time expressing themselves. Someone who didn't open up, but they're coming in. They're coming in. They want to come in and balance out the situation with you, for sure. They want to make things right and do it the right way. Page of Swords, they're watching you. This person is watching you from a distance, keeping tabs on you, watching your social media, <coughs> literally watching every mood you're, move you're making, what's going on in your life, being nosy. They could be asking your friends. But yeah, they're watching you from a distance. They're watching you from a distance. They're doing all their research before they come in. Tell me more. Tell me more about Scorpio and Love, please. Queen of Wands. That's how they see you, see? They see you as like the shit. They see you as the boss. You're the badass here. I see you as someone very, very attractive, very sexy, very good looking, someone who's very passionate about what they want. They know that once you've set your eyes on something, you got it. But they also see you as someone who realizes that uh, you have a lot of confidence and you don't need to chase them. They've stopped it. You've stopped chasing them. And now they're about to chase you. They're wanting to chase you, watching you again, like I said, wanting to come in and balance out the situation. Maybe in the past, they were probably, you know, uh, very indecisive, like I said, right? They were lacking clarity. They now have clarity. They're coming in with commitment for sure. And they're manifesting this. This is fast, quick communication, okay? A lot of fast-paced progress coming in. Could be someone who's living at a distance from you. But that's online communication. Someone wants to move things fast, okay? Things will just progress really quickly. You won't be expecting this. This is going to be so unexpected out of the blue. Out of nowhere is this person going to come in and communicate and tell you all this. Tell me more, please. There's a lot of passion here. For sure. Wow. Dude, four of wands. They definitely want to marry you. 
definitely with the higher of and then four of wands for sure four of wands. and this seriously i've been like shuffling in front of you ten of cups they want the happily ever after with you scorpio this is a very sexy reading for you this person wants commitment with you they want marriage they're very serious about you very serious you're probably looking not looking at them or you're not expecting this you're probably even doing you you're probably very focused on your own business your goals or you're just doing what makes you happy <clears throat> you're sitting tight on your throne not making a move waiting for them to come towards you and they are they are probably it's someone who's immature in communication someone who doesn't really communicate very well you know but they're coming in nice you have a wish come true this is someone who's put you on a pedestal okay they see you as a star they see you as someone who's unreachable they but they want it they want it now and they want it bad they're obsessed with you <clears throat> addictive they're addicted and obsessed with you they feel very stuck and tied and bound to you <clears throat> they do see this as something that uh, is meant to be of course but with the star here something's fated something's destined something's gonna happen at the right time regardless you have a wish coming true okay this person's healed and they're coming back correct to you they've taken their time to heal and they're coming back towards you they have a there is a renewal in love is what i'd say that's a reconciliation <clears throat> tell me more please what else can scorpio expect in love what else can scorpio expect in love nine of swords <clears throat> i think this person has a lot of regret about whatever happened in the past they have regret about the way things ended here because something could have ended badly here they want resurrection they want recovery they want to put an end to the bullshit okay to that over analyzing overthinking <clears throat> you could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person okay like i said something completely failed you felt defeated okay you probably surrendered okay to this relationship you no longer fought for this you went on to your own way and did and and you were doing you and now this person is regretting every single move that they didn't make towards you every single time they should have taken you seriously or they should have worked on worked on this connection if they would have this ending wouldn't have come see they have this epiphany that huge realization the universe has given them a hundred signs you know <clears throat> they didn't listen and that's when the tower moment came you let the tower fall dude you did they weren't expecting this you let the tower fall you let this person go you let things end <clears throat> and you're on their mind on a constant basis they're stressing a lot about how they can achieve all this with you <clears throat> two of pentacles this is someone who's trying to juggle trying to see which is the best way the best route to approach you because they're still trying to gather more information about you because they're the page of swords you're the queen of wands that's like a big energetic difference right they could also be intimidated to, by you to a certain level but yeah they have a lot of regret about what they didn't do and what they should have done Hermit. this person's contemplating this person's done a lot of thinking <clears throat> this person's taken their time off this could be someone who's ghosted you or you've ghosted but yeah they've taken them time off and now they've decided to come towards you with the knight of pentacles this is someone very very slow moving okay that's someone who's not even moving with the knight of pentacles but yeah it is moving but it's on a daughter's slow moving slow and steady okay but that's a very a very determined lover very stubborn lover okay they have a lot of love for you they have a lot of emotions they want to offer stability they're not going nowhere seriously take it from me this person's going nowhere it's just that they're too slow towards you okay you're like the queen of wands you're like quick now quick moment you know fast you could probably be you you can manage to juggle like a lot of projects together you can do a lot of things together people would literally respect you and like literally appreciate it for what you are but this person out here with the knight of pentacles they're slow moving they're i mean to me the knight of pentacles is like the single mover you know someone who's got their own pace they've got their own way of doing things like they don't care whether you know you're moving out or moving in whatever they're going to take their own time they reach their goal that's that, that's the good part about them they reach their goal okay yeah you're definitely dealing with a ghoster okay someone who keeps ghosting you so which can give you a lot of mixed signals one second they're with you the second they're not and you're like dude you know 
two of pentacles right constantly in and out of your life but this time when they come around right they're they're doing research before they come to you and when they come to you right with a half and four of wands here oh dude you're getting locked down they're gonna propose you i'm guessing tell me more tell me more they do feel you have a lot of suitors you know and they're watching you they're watching if you're with someone else or what's going on are you still single whoa okay i'll take it that looks nice but the high priestess yeah they see you as someone who's very very uh you're like this um this price their eyes are on you their eyes are on the price okay and they're coming for you for sure with the nine of pentacles here, yeah, they see you as someone who realizes their worth, their value. They realize your worth and value. They see you as financially independent, someone who is absolutely abundant on their own, okay on their own, okay? You don't need anyone, you know? There is um, no dependency. They see you as someone very independent of any other person. Uh, you're enjoying the best of your life. You're enjoying your money. You're enjoying a luxurious life, taking care of yourself, taking care of your body, looking sexy, partying having fun out there and you don't really give a shit about this person okay you don't they say you are someone you know this is someone you're giving the silent treatment but again you trust your intuition you always knew they were coming back right you kept yourself but this person definitely took their time so yeah this person took their time before they came to you <clears throat> they're coming around for sure they're coming around they have a lot of regret a lot of regret what is the outcome between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? What is the outcome? Wow, you're starting a brand new chapter with this person, with the world and the death card, you right? Someone's coming in. This is the transition. This is a 180 degrees turn. That's like a huge transformation in this person, okay? They're letting the old go. They're letting their old ways go. Old ways go to let the new come in. That's like a huge change. It's a transition. It's a change. You weren't expecting this. You probably completed a cycle with this person, okay? That's resurrection. That's rebirth. You guys have learned your lessons, both of you. And they want a brand new cycle with you. Give me one more card for the outcome, please. Wow. Okay. Ten of Pentacles and the Judgment. They want a second chance with you. Flat out. I rest my case. They want a second chance with you. They want... Um, not only what they want a second chance with you, but with the Ten of Pentacles, they're, they're bringing a lot of stability, okay? They're starting a new chapter. They're wanting to move things forward with you. They've reached a particular milestone with you. You could have, you could definitely be at a distance from this person. Dis distance could be an issue between you guys, for sure. But yeah, definitely someone who's doing a lot of watching, okay? But seriously, the only thing I can say is this time around, they're pretty serious about you. Because I'm getting, you were in circles with this person, okay? They kept doing a lot of thinking, they kept doing a lot of ghosting, and you kept wondering like, whoa, what's going on? Are we? Are you in this or not? You finally left, you finally took off, left the building, and that's when they realized that they should stop the juggling and they need to make a decision. They're coming in to balance it out. Yep. You manifested them. You manifested them. <clears throat> but this is something this is meant to be you can't deny this and nor can they just see you as someone who's single and um, someone who's uh, doing very good on their own <coughs> excuse me <coughs> yeah but they're coming in with that second chance okay they want a reconciliation Ten of Pentacles, that's marriage commitment. I have all marriage and commitment cards out here on the table. So, yeah. Hierophant, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. There's not much I can say. I'm just saying that if you thought that things were over, they're not. If you thought they're never going to come to commit to you, they're never going to be serious about you, they're never going to take things to the high level of commitment, they are. They are. For sure. They're coming in hot and heavy. <coughs> So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. That's a beautiful reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.